Tim, is this stuff really still worth stacking? Okay, is that a crazy question to ask my local coin shop silver dealer? Yeah, probably is. I love constitutional silver. It's one of the three main things that I stack as part of my stacking the Yankee way. So, yeah, I have to get this stuff. Isn't that a beautiful sound? And I decided to go with quarters. Silver quarters. Why? Well, I already have finished my half dollar guardhouse box. Half silver Kennedy's 90% half Benjamin half dollar. So, you know, I have uh, stacked quite a bit of silver over the years. I started stacking silver back when I was a kid. Um, I would coin roll hunt, I'd ride my bike down to the local bank, drop a 10 spot on the counter and ask for a, a roll of quarters. That and dimes were what I really started out with. And I've got quite a few of them. So I think it's time for me to get back into my silver stacking roots. This is where I want to be focusing on. So quarters, right? I'm going to get a guardhouse box of quarters. Right now I'm just tossing them in the box. And there's some really good ones in here too. This, this was a nice one. Yeah. I like Washington's. Even though you have to check the date in order to know if it's silver. Unlike a, a you know, a Seated Liberty or a Barber or something like that. I, I, I think I think the Washington's are my choice just simply because of the uh, lack of wear that you will find. This is another nice one. 1962. Yeah, and I like to I like to go through them and, and make sure that they are uh, good quality. That's why I go to my local coin shop dealer every time I'm interested in buying constitutional silver or junk silver. Again, that's not a derogatory word in my opinion. Uh, it just denotes that it's not a numismatic coin. It's not a collectible because of a key date or an error. 1844 has some more wear on it. Yeah. I like constitutional. A quarter guardhouse box. So anyway, enough of me talking. Let's check out my purchase with Tim and hear what he has to say about that question of mine. So is your uh, constitutional holding out? Uh, yeah, I took that from a much larger bag, a bag of oh, probably $1,000 space. Tim, is this stuff really still worth stacking? Yes. It's 90%, it's not shiny, it's been worn, I mean... And it's recognized as money. That's the, the, the value of uh, any kind of junk or constitutional silver is the fact that it, it's already recognized as money. And people will realize that it's not just worth 25 cents one day? Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Very quickly. Yeah. And the banks, it's hard to find a bank that will give you any half dollars now because so many people have been going to get half dollars so they pick out the 40%. Coin roll hunt. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so most banks won't even do that anymore. Will they do quarters? Uh, they probably will, but you're finding... The state quarter program is 70 billion quarters. The America the Beautiful program is several billion. We don't know exactly how many. Uh, you have the district and territory quarters, and then all the quarters that were made before then that are not wearing out. So your chances of finding anything silver in a roll of quarters are getting slimmer and slimmer. Hmm. Well, I've already finished my uh, half dollar um, guardhouse box, so I, I need to work on a quarter guardhouse box. This is still reasonable. Uh, yeah. According to my wholesaler, it's not going to be soon. Say that again? The price is, it's reasonable now, but when I talked to the wholesaler about if I had, if I run out, if I had to buy it from him, what the price would be, 
and it is exactly what I'm selling it for right now. Um, so I, I don't need to replenish supply yet, but um, I may have to soon. It's the hazard, the problem, because people come in and they go, oh, I'd like a roll of Walkers and a roll of Franklins. Who would do that? People do it all the time. I'm kidding. No, I know. <laughs> Everybody has a preference, and that's made the, the price of the um, halves is about a dollar more. I haven't raised my price. My price is 21 for everything. But um, the, if I had to get more halves from the wholesaler, the halves alone would be 22. It'd be a dollar more. I'm glad I'm going with the Washingtons. Wow. Oh, that's a shiny one. Yeah, this some, one. We put what? everything in. It doesn't matter if they're uncirculated. We put them in there. What's the date on it? Uh, 1961. That's not bad. No. That's uh, $10 worth right there? That is. You want them in a bag? Yes, please. It's a pretty good mix. Yeah, I mean, that there, is there a good mix. There are a lot that are actually uncirculated in there. But... Oh, very nice. Thanks a lot, Tim. Now, that As should always. <clears throat> weigh about 248 grams. Oh, wow. Let's just check and make sure. Could be 247 or 246, but. Uh, Somewhere in that range. Killer? Dude. <laughs> Been doing this for 30 years. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Okay. Yes. Real money. I love when Tim said that. This is this is great stuff here. You can touch it, not worry about it. And it will one day, in my opinion, likely be seen once again as a monetary metal. I think it could be used as barter material. Can you imagine using a half dollar or a dime or a quarter to exchange for goods and services? Yeah, I, I, I said exchange because not purchase with fiat, uh, you know, money or currency, I should say, not uh, exchange this for something priced in dollars, but exchanged for something priced in silver. That's why I stack constitutional silver. That's why I think you should stack constitutional silver. Well, please hit the like, subscribe, and as always, I hope your day is a-okay.